was at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hands and let's <laughs> Should've seen that one coming Come on, come dance in the rain with me No Come on No Come on No Come on No Come on No Sad to be outside. <laughs> He's so proper. He's precious. Today looks like the perfect day for a ride, and it's like windy and cold. Okay, it doesn't sound perfect, but it's gonna be amazing. I love this weather, I love the chill, that the gnats finally are frozen to death, and now it's not like 80 degrees out, so I'm not sweating balls, and I just, I'm so excited to go ride. Hopefully Sean will be home in time that I can get him to whip the drone out. Otherwise, I will just have to enjoy my ride the old fashioned way, which is in the moment. Uh oh, what are we doing? Oh, we're back. What is going on out there? Uh oh, <laughs> little Fletch just plodded along behind her. Oh, I wonder what it is. What are we scared of? Oh, hello, beautiful thoroughbred. Hi, gorgeous. Look at you. Look at this beautiful clip job. This was not an easy thing to get done. This took multiple days and oh, you had to suffer much, didn't you? I'm excited, it's beautiful weather out. Great time for a ride. While he messes with all my crap over there, I'm gonna brush her up. But I realized like the other day I saw a video on Instagram of someone taking a picture of them riding their horse and their horse's ears was backwards. And they photoshopped on like a set of horse ears looking forwards. Which I was like, that's so misleading, right? We all look for the signs in a horse that they're enjoying something or like the forward ears present a nice picture because it shows that the horse is enjoying their job and isn't in pain and like it communicates with certain body signals. So is it so deceiving to edit forward ears onto an image of your horse doing something? I don't know, I just felt like I've been duped. And now I look at every single image out there and I'm like, crap, does this horse actually have forward ears or is it photoshopped, you know? That has absolutely no relevance to today's ride, but we're gonna go. We're gonna do it, we're gonna have fun. Fletch! Stop that! Hey, don't gnaw my reins, please. Please don't. That's so unnecessary, you little terror. Don't my helmet! Oh, you're cute but a psycho. Yes, you. Do not turn back around. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! You put. You kicked my helmet. That is so not helmet safety approved. Gosh. Stop it, dude. God, this would be a great time for you to understand English. All right, let's go with push you away, redirect your attention. Oh, sorry. I didn't even drop the curry comb at you. Oh, don't look offended. It didn't hit you. We've moved on to gnawing on the groom box now. <laughs> he's being ridiculous. And I know his little shoulder, he's got a rub because he got really itchy skin. And it's not from like blanket or anything. We're working on soap to make it feel better, right? Aren't we? And to make the itchiness stop. But he keeps itching himself raw right there, unfortunately. Oh, you crazy monkey. So when I, when I thought that little terror was absolutely doing no damage, he's just kind of licking at it. He totally gnawed the corner of his. 
Also, I just want to say I've never painted the backside of the fence. No one can see it, so that's pretty much why. Hi, Fletchy. Good girl. Wishing for the kind of love you see in magazines. The illusion falls and nothing's what it seems to be. The part left is hurting. Ah, you are not getting me today, Hondo. Good. Do we handle this stitch one handed? <laughs> Whoop, almost tripped. <laughs> Easy. And that's the ditch that <laughs> just almost ate us. <laughs> Cross country who? Heard a whisper so saw you Was it the same night you had trouble with your car? It's getting all I've heard your stories told a thousand times. Baby, you are using the same old line. What's been broken? This ain't the first time I'll be drinking you off my mind. Sean did not get home in time to record me riding, which is okay. I was kind of happy just to focus on my ride anyways and not like worrying that we look like crap in front of the camera. But I'm now soaking grain to go feed the ponies put blankets on, make sure she was a little damp after I ride, so I groomed her by letting her dry, and I don't give her another grooming that way. There's no step marks or any dirt left on her when I put her blankie back on. It's like a swamp monster is in there. That's creepy. <laughs> damn it. Damn, 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 damn. You guys hungry? Get your little squat butt away from me, buddy. Oh, angry ears. Obviously, he's really thin. <gasps> Hello, gorgeous. You have a good ride? Oh, you got some bridal marks. Time to brush her. And I would change, I would change for you. I would break, I break these walls too. And I would change, I would change just for you. Jackson, but I am for real. Never meant to make your daughter cry. I apologize at least a trillion times. I cry, sorry, sorry. I scared her. My voice is just that <laughs> incredible. I don't know if anyone else has this issue of immense amounts of poop stuck on the back strap. It's really unfortunate and I can't figure out how to stop her from pooping on that strap other than to be like, hey, don't poop there. I know, today's vlog isn't crazy exciting or interesting. I, it's strange. Normally I have really weird, crazy things happen in my life and the last couple weeks, it's just been nice and chill and mellow, which I have no problem with. Because like one of the last crazy things that happened was her getting loose and running several miles down the road. So like, I'm okay taking a break from that. I guess it doesn't make for very interesting vlogs for the rest of the world to watch. Rest of the world. <laughs> wow, that was, gosh, I really think highly of myself. <laughs> Gotta do my zipper up. That's uncomfortable. Nice things. Hi, sweetheart. Uh, much much love to you. Although he would say I starve him, but I would argue otherwise. There's something in the woods. It's a bird, false alarm. It's a bird. <laughs> I was already attacking it. I was going down. Literally the other night, there my dogs lost their ever loving minds and out on the front porch, I found a bunny. And right before I dismissed the bunny, I was like, oh, no big deal, not a problem. I remembered Banicula that I read back in like the fifth grade. And now I'm starting to think maybe we all dismiss Brick but <laughs> maybe we all dismiss Banicula a little bit too soon. Vampiric bunnies, I think 2020 is the perfect year for those to become a real thing. I just got dirt all over my face. <laughs> oh my gosh. This day is going really well. <laughs> Good enough lighting to close out the video, I suppose. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me and watching this video today. It wasn't the most interesting vlog. I know that and 
I don't really have any apologies or anything to say other than, hey, my life's not super fascinating. It's just me living it, doing my thing, you know? Anyways, thank you for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to see other things from me. If you don't want to see this beautiful face any further, I understand. Don't hit subscribe. Um, I don't have a way to sign out. I don't. Bye. Oh, I can't. I just popped my hip really bad from that. Ah.